Hey cryptocurrency market, it's Denny Lovejoy, your favorite blockchain tutorial, Jedi Master. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to send Stellar using your Foxlet wallet. So let's jump right into it. The first step here is to exchange Bitcoin for Stellar. And we're gonna use Exodus to do this. So I'll show you what that looks like. This is what the Exodus wallet looks like. If you have not yet downloaded an Exodus wallet yet, go ahead and check out my previous tutorials on how to do that. And make sure that you also have your Foxlet wallet downloaded because you're also gonna need that for this video. So again, the first step here is to exchange your Bitcoin for Stellar. And we're gonna go to the exchange here on the left of Exodus. So what you're gonna wanna do is on the right here where it says receive, you're gonna choose the Stellar option. And I'm just gonna scroll down until I go to S, which is for Stellar, and I'm gonna choose Stellar. And for the left side, I'm gonna choose Bitcoin Cash because I already have $125 worth of Bitcoin Cash here, and I wanna do $100 send and receive videos for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose Bitcoin Cash, but you could choose any other crypto. For example, I have $74 in Bitcoin here. I could choose that option, but like I said, I wanna do $100 videos for you. So I'm gonna stick with my Bitcoin Cash option. And what I'm gonna do is click all, and it's gonna autofill it for me. But what I'm gonna do is change this to perhaps 105. And the reason I'm choosing 105 is so that I receive exactly $100 worth of Stellar. So. What I'm gonna do now is click the exchange button here. And as you can see, it's starting to exchange. So be a little patient for that. And there you go. The exchange is now in progress. It says it's gonna take two hours or less for the Stellar to arrive and that I could safely use or quit Exodus while an exchange is in progress. So that's fine with me. To be clear, if I go back to my wallet here, and if I look for Stellar, which is right here, it's gonna exchange the Bitcoin Cash for Stellar into here, and the address that they're using is from this receive button right here, which is technically this one right here. So that's gonna process. I'm gonna come back to the video once that's done, and do the same thing, come back and play the video and continue the video once the exchange is done for you. Okay, and we're back. It looks like my Bitcoin Cash has exchanged for the Stellar and it did it a few seconds ago. So for me, it took about 20 minutes to do so. It did not take the full two hours. It only took 20 minutes or so. So now I have 411 XLM, which is Stellar. So step number two here is to send Stellar to a Stellar Foxlet wallet, and we're gonna have to get the correct address, and then we're gonna send a small test transaction first. So I'll show you what that looks like. So this is what the Stellar Foxlet wallet looks like. If you have not yet downloaded the Foxlet wallet, go ahead and check out my previous tutorials on how to do that. If you recall from that video, the step to log in and open the account is to select the file and the file that I'm gonna choose is this one. And this is the file that I need to open it. And then I'm gonna put in my password. So again, if you recall, we use password managers on our team. So the password manager that I specifically use and the one that we strongly, highly recommend on our team is keypass.info. So go get your password from your password manager and then enter it into here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. And what I'm gonna do is copy and paste that into here and click open account. And this is what the Foxlet wallet looks like, if you recall. So great, what I'm gonna do is on the top here, I'm gonna click this account profile. And as you can see right here, this is my Stellar address. And this is the address, the public address that we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. And that's the first part to step number two get the correct address, and now we're gonna send a small test transaction. So we're gonna go back to my Exodus account, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna click this send button, and we're gonna click send. We're going to click paste, and we're gonna get the address that we just got, 
And to be clear, you can verify it's the correct address by looking at the last six characters, which say 752C, capital O, V. And if I go back to the Stellar wallet here, it says the same thing, 752, capital C, capital O, capital V. So that's good. And what we're gonna do again is send a test transaction first. So typically a test transaction is about $5. So I'm gonna choose that option and click send. And it says, are you sure? I'll say yes, send. And it says success. So great. What we can do now is look at the history here. And it says that it sent a few seconds ago and it sent 20 XLM. So that's great. So we're gonna move on to step number three here, which is to verify the pending transaction on the Block Explorer. And the Block Explorer we're gonna to use today in this video is StellarChain.io. So I'm gonna go straight to that website, StellarChain.io. As soon as you land on the website, you'll see that it is a HTTPS website and it is a secure connection and you can verify it by the green padlock up here. What we're gonna do now is on the top right, we're gonna paste that same address that we got and we're gonna search it. And as you can see right here, there's a history. If you can see it right here, it says that it just sent 20 XLM to this account right here, which is this one. So that's great. It means that we did send it to the right address and we're sending a small test transaction first. So that's good. And what we can do is step number four, which is to confirm the transaction is received. And we're gonna have to wait for that to process, but there's two ways to do that. We can check the Block Explorer once more. And all we would really have to do is click refresh. And if I click on history here, you'll see that my account here just received 20 XLM. If I click on balance, right here. So this is where you would actually want to go to see if you received it or not. But in my Stellar wallet right here, it says that I have 20 XLM and that I could refresh it to see that it's actually there. So that's good. It went through. We can say that it confirmed and that's how you do step number four here. So let's move on to step number five, which is to send the rest of the XLM, the Stellar, to the Foxlet wallet. And we're gonna have to verify that the recipient received the transaction, and then we could whitelist the address if needed. So as far as verifying that the recipient received the transaction, as you can see in the video, I'm sending Stellar from one of my other Stellar accounts to my Foxlet wallet. So that means that I know that I received it, but if you're getting Stellar from another person, you're gonna have to send them a private email or a private message saying, yes, I received the test transaction, and then they'll send you the rest of the Stellar. And that's how you verify that you're sending it to the right address and that there's no mistakes along the way. So what we can do now is whitelist the address if needed. And that same address that I got, I could save it in a secure place and know that every time I send Stellar to this address, it's going to be going to this exact account, specifically the Foxlet wallet. So we're going to go back to Exodus here and we're going to click send and we're going to put that same address. Remember, the last six characters is 752, capital C, capital O, capital V. And this time we're gonna click all to send the rest of the amount. And then we're gonna click send. And then we're gonna say, yes, I wanna send that. And we could check our Stellar wallet right now. If we refresh it, you'll see that it virtually sent instantly, which is great. And that's how a cryptocurrency sending and receiving works, by the way. If you're sending Stellar from a Stellar account to another Stellar account, it's going to be almost instant. And that's a good thing. We could also go back to the Block Explorer here. And if I refresh this, you'll see that the balance is now 410 Stellar, which means that without me even looking at the Foxlet wallet, which is this, I could verify that they received it just by looking at the Block Explorer which is, again, stellarchain.io. 
That means we could move on to step number six here, which is to send the XLM, the Stellar, from our Stellar Foxit wallet to a Stellar address. We're gonna send a small test transaction first, and then we're gonna send the rest, and I'll show you what that looks like. So we're gonna have to go to Exodus here again, and this time, instead of sending, we're gonna click Receive, and we're gonna click this Copy This Address button right here, and we're gonna go to the Foxlet wallet here, and this time, we're gonna click Send up here on the top, and what we're gonna do is scroll down a little bit, we're gonna paste that same address that I just got, if you can see, the last six characters here are YSXOJV. And if you look at the Exodus account right here, the Stellar address says YSXOJV. So it is the same address. I do that just to verify that I'm not sending it to another account because that can happen if you don't be careful. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna send a test transaction. So if you recall, I sent 20 last time. I could put an optional memo here, which I won't. And what I'm gonna do now is on the top right here, click choose XLM. And this turns blue down here on the bottom. And then it allows me to click send. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And it looks like it's sending right now. And there you go. I could even go back to the Stellar chain right here and put in that same address that I got and click send. And as you can see, it says that it received. So without me even looking at my Exodus account, I know that they received it because it says it here on the Block Explorer. And if I check the Exodus account and look at it, it says that it sent me the 20 XLM just now, a few seconds ago right here. So that's great. We're going to do the process once more. But again, all you have to do is click receive, click copy address, and then go to the Stellar wallet. It looks like it keeps the address here. So again, I could just put that in once more. I'm going to click choose XLM here on the top. And then what I'm going to do is just copy and paste this right here. And I'm going to put that into the amount. All right. So again, I'm choosing the full amount and I just wanted to copy and paste that into here and I'm going to try clicking send and it looks like it didn't go uh, through all the way. So what I'm going to try doing is I'm going to send minus one. So I'll send 89 and then try send and that didn't go through either. So I'll try 388 and then try send and it looks like it went through. So I, I assume it's accounting for the transaction fee. So that's fine with me. If I copy and paste this address right here, and if I go back to stellarchain.io and then search it, you'll see that the balance is now 409, meaning that the US dollar value says it right here, but it's $100 in value. And if I go back to my Exodus account here, and look at it, it says that it has $100, $101 of USD. So that means we successfully did step number six here, which is to send the XLM from the Stellar Foxlet wallet to a Stellar address. And the Stellar address we used for this video was the one from my Exodus account here. In this video, I am not talking about how to receive Stellar using your Foxlet wallet. I'm gonna save that for the next video. However, in this video, I did want to show you how to do step number one here, which is to exchange Bitcoin for Stellar. And then I wanted to show you how to send Stellar to a Foxit wallet. And then I wanted to show you step number six here, which was to send Stellar from our Foxit wallet to a Stellar address. And those are the key highlights of the video, along with the fact that I showed you uh, how to verify these transactions on the Block Explorer. So that concludes my video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy watching blockchain tutorials like this, get the cryptocurrency investing blueprint. You can learn more at cryptocurrency.market slash blueprint, and you could get 10% off using my promo code Denny2018. You could check out the display address here on the screen or check out the links below. And you could also follow our cryptocurrency market team on Twitter. You could find me at Denny Lovejoy. You could find my crypto mentors, Taizen and LeonFu.com at HeyTaizen and LeonCFu. 
And if you have any suggestions for future videos, send them to me on Twitter. And if you like these videos, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Thanks again. Have a terrific day. And I'll see you on the next blockchain tutorial.